building information modelling is the most exciting and challenging thing to ever happen to the construction industry. And it actually involves absolutely everybody who's got any association with buildings at all. And I want you to do something for me. I want you to imagine a future where you could work with your architect in real time on a project without the need for any printed drawings anymore. Imagine you could be stood in the corridor of your building and you could walk down, open up into a room, see the lighting effects through the day as the sun passes through the sky, but before your building's even been built. Imagine you could work on a project with absolute confidence that it was going to be delivered on time, on budget, and that your building at the end would give you greater productivity and run at lower costs, yeah, and that you could manage that building with all the information you ever wanted at your fingertips. Right back in 2011, in fact, the government stated that by 2016, all government-funded projects would be done using a BIM process. And this came into effect, actually, in April of this year. They basically stated, if you want to be involved on a government-funded project, whether it be a school, hospital, or right down to social housing, even, you've got to be using, and your architect will have to be using, a BIM process to produce that information. Now, their drivers are the same as everybody else's from a client perspective. Reduce costs and increase efficiency. Yeah, it's the same thing we all want. They actually stated that by using BIM processes, they can reduce their capital costs on projects by 20%. If you were given better quality information at the start of a project about your building, perhaps before it was constructed, then you'd be able to make more informed choices about that building structure. The image I've actually shown here is a project about to start on site actually next week. And basically they were really interested to know how their existing building, you can see to the side here, was going to interact with our new proposed extension to extend their ice cream parlour. They really appreciated the 3D model because we could sit down with them and go through it and really understand how the two things would merge together. And it also helped them input with us as to what they actually wanted back from the building. See, with the 3D model, we're able to give you so much more information, yeah, even just visually going from more traditional 2D drawings and plans to be able to give you actual 3D versions of the floor plans themselves. It gives you much better appreciation of shape and space and the items that actually go into that building and how you can start to use those. But we can take it further again. For rooms maybe where you're wanting to focus on key areas, we can stand you right inside there and you can say, right, I want to look at that feature, that fireplace or that window and you can stand and actually see it. Yeah, we can do this for anything. It's just as relevant for the small projects, like a domestic extension I've shown here, as it is for your major developments, you know, with the ability to understand the building. Now, one of the great things is that if your architects and designers are using building information modelling, then actually you as clients can use free software to view and actually start to interact with your models as well before the building's created. But like I said, using extremely easy navigational tools, you, know, you can just simply start to walk around. So walking between the aisles of this supermarket, and you can start to see and appreciate the size and shape and space. So 3D goggles, what we can actually do is utilising just simply a smartphone, so my iPhone's just put in the front of this, with a 3D model of the building downloaded, and because of the way iPhones or iPads, etc., yeah, can integrate and know when you're turning left and right, so will your view of the model if you start to look around it. Okay, so this sort of mobile viewing, it makes the whole process, again, much more interactive. You can really immerse yourself in the building before it's constructed. A client we're actually working for at the moment has their head office over in India and they always seem to struggle with this problem for getting approval for new projects. So in this particular instance, they came to us and asked for a 3D model. They said, right, we believe if we can produce this information and send it across so they can visually see it, they'll understand it and get the process to run through much quicker. And they were right, took the process down from several months to just over a week. If we can hit all these problems before they get to site, we're going to make considerable cost savings. It's all about collaboration, you see, sharing of information, working together actually on the model. You'll notice I keep mentioning the term collaboration. Yeah. It's such a key thing for building information modelling, the ability to work together. And part of what we've obviously done here today is obviously our collaboration with Garbett and Elliot. Yeah. We're producing building information modelling and they're able to start recouping tax for clients of ours on their buildings. How can we optimise the building from an early stage to understand how it's going to work to lower operational costs? What we can start to do with our building information models as well is run this information so we're getting a visual impact as well about how it's going to work. 
So here what I'm going to do is just turn the actual sun path on to here. So this is the location of the building. You can see the orientation relative to north. The image you're seeing there is actually how the sun will track across the sky during the course of an entire year. So imagine, for example, you're a building manager. And a building you're responsible for gets the window smashed late at night. Yeah, and you get the call from security, OK, this window's been damaged. Well, under traditional way, you'd have to go out, get your coat on, might be raining outside, traipse down, find out which window it is, then try and go in, find the data relating to it to order a new one. But if you could be sat at home, pull up the building model on your tablet and go, right, OK, it was this window, I know it's this size, I know which manufacturer it came from, I know how much it cost, you can simply reorder it. You never even need to leave the house. These things aren't really in the future. These are things that building information modeling is delivering right now. Yeah, you can make better decisions because of the information we can start to show you. You can get reduced project costs by avoiding things like clashes on sites. And you can get more efficient operation and maintenance of your building by using digital information.